So uh, when you say light pins, what do you mean? Well, Chris, the pin weights that are legal by the American Bowling Congress are three pound two ounces, the lightest, up to three pound twelve ounce. The average we use on a tour are three pound six. But for the pros, a three pound five or three pound six ounce pins is not much of an object to knock down. The pros can handle that very easily. Hudson trailing by 22, six frame. Two and a moving eight. The first errant shot that Hudson's had since the first game, wide, slides by, leaves a 2-8, much like we saw Martin leave the first game. You just leave that. You still hit your spot at the arrows, but you don't get the lift and a sharp enough break. Hoping to get both as he did, marking with a spare in the sixth frame. Now, Bob Handley, the Kenson, with four in a row, shooting in the sixth frame. The winner of this match will meet Wayne Webb. Handley's been awesome in his four-bagger. He's only got one ball solid in the pocket. He tripped a high hit, carried a wall shot, was just slapped him all over the place in the fifth frame. Just to, epitomizes the power that he has on the bowling ball. Over. All right. Bobby Hanley hits that line very hard. His foot turns almost parallel to the foul line. Uh, in fact, it does. And that's just a reaction for the amount of power and whip that he puts with his arm coming through the ball. He got a great break in the sixth frame there, carrying a jersey squasher and increased his lead to 34 pins through six. Five beggar working. By car, we're about two and a half hours from New Jersey, Paramus, for instance. Bob Henley, six in a row and a 44 pin lead. We're going to take a break and then return. Our live professional bowler store telecast continues from Windsor Locks, Connecticut. Greater Hartford Open. Man trailing by 44 after winning the first game. Tommy Hudson spare up shooting in the seventh. Extremely smooth and effortless strike in the seventh frame as we go to Bo Burton. Thank you, Chris. With me, Wayne Wed. Wayne, you're in the number two position. That position has not won a PBA tournament this year. You have any reason why that position uh, hasn't been a winner on the tour? Well, you know, the number one position is probably the toughest, and the number two, you've got to wait almost as long, and then you've got to bowl two games instead of just one, and I think that's the reason, but uh, I've won from the second position before, and uh, hopefully I'll do it again now. A confident young man thinks he can win from number two, Chris. All right, and Tommy Hudson not giving up. He is just double, cutting Bob Handley's lead now to 34 pins. Two beautiful strikes here at the Bradley Bowl. Handley from Fairway, Kansas. Finished third. That's why he's meeting Hudson, who won the first game over Steve Martin, 236 to 196. Handley with a six-bagger shooting in the eighth frame. Seven in a row. After an opening spare, Handley has been awesome. And next Saturday... As you look at the score sheet, what a pleasure to return to the Riviera Lanes. Meet all the people that we've known for so many years, Bo, for the $150,000 Firestone Tournament of Champions. The third, the third jewel into the uh, Bowling's Triple Crown, Chris. And, you know, one of the league bowlers there at Riviera Lanes is Tommy Hudson. That's where he got his start. And, and you know, we have the spring tour coming up, Chris, May 23rd in Fremont, California, then up to one of your favorite towns, Portland, Oregon. Aha. Uh -huh. Five stops all together including the uh, doubles in Las Vegas. Nice frame. Eight in a row. Bob Handley. 
Tommy Hudson, who's bowled such a sensational game, is just about out of it. He can still bowl a 246 game, and yet he trails by 54 pins. This really epitomizes the scoring we've seen here all this week. Three bagger now in the late stages of this second game, and a 44 pin lead by Handley as we look at Hudson. Shaking his head, he just did not have any breaks at all. Hudson with taps in the first and second frame. Hanley had very fortuitous strikes in the first five strikes he got. Only one saw in the pocket. It's been the difference so far in the match. 1977, Tommy won four titles. Well, Chris, this is a good warm-up for Tommy Hudson. Let's... Uh... The Greater Hartford Open is an excellent tournament, but next week is the biggie, the granddaddy of them all, the third jewel in the Triple Crown, the Firestone, and a lot of the players use this as a testing ground to gain some momentum for that tournament, and these two players definitely are in that category. Hudson having a great week, is going to finish fourth, possible 246, Hanley a possible 290, the highest we've had so far on the telecast. but the seven for Tommy Hudson. One pin less than his first game victory, 236 to 196. Hudson has rolled a 235, but the winner is Bob Hanley, who will meet Wayne Webb. So it's all academic, just Hudson going for the seven pin. He'll have a 235, just a nice bowling all day by Tommy. Watching him bowl today, I have a feeling that next week in the prestigious Firestone Tournament of Champions, he'll be right there. All winners competing next week, Bo. You got it, Chris. A 52-man field. Wow. An opening spare thus far. All strikes for the winner of this, this match, Bob Handley. Hanley, a big 289, left the nine pin on the first frame and on his last shot left the four. A 289 to Tommy Hudson's finished fifth.